when the governor says, you know, we're making progress, is it enough? What would you like to see happen in order to truly see business recover? Well, I mean, we have seen responsiveness to the changes in the public health situation when restrictions were tightened in November, December. The case rates were pretty scary here, to be candid. And the, as, the, as the cases pull back, we've seen the restrictions ease and we've seen business come back. What we need as we move forward, presuming the public case numbers continue to move in the right direction, is further loosening that would allow us to offer full services to all of our group business that's coming. Uh, as you know, we built this, the Forum Convention Center across the street from us here. It opened days before everything shut down. So we were ready for group as business back then, and we're certainly ready for it to return. So now. you've got a brand spanking new facility. Yes. How many uh, attendees do you expect in with World of Concrete? And, and then talk to me a little bit about your convention calendar for the second half of 2021. So we're presuming more attrition than normal for any group that's booked coming up. We just don't know how quickly people are going to come back. So we see the same headline numbers that you do in terms of uh, what signed up for the conference. We don't know what ultimately shows. In terms of forward bookings, our forward bookings, both for the second half of this year and into 22 are extremely strong, you know, well into double digits. We were 32% above same time last year for the second half of this year and over 10% above for 22, looking back to wow. similar dates in the past. So business groups are, are wanting to come back. We've just got to make sure that we can accommodate them. No, in, uh, on the East Coast, I'm wondering if I come to a convention or if I come to some entertainment function at uh, in Las Vegas, how am I going to feel? Is it going to feel different? Is the experience going to be the same as it was three years ago? Or is there going to be social distancing and mask wearing? And, and how is the experience going to be different, if at all, from the way it was? Well, you're certainly, Tyler, going to be wearing masks for the foreseeable future. We would expect uh, social distancing requirements to start to ease as vaccinations continue to roll out. Uh, the, the protocols developed here by the entire industry are extraordinary in terms of the safety of how we can host groups now. And you're not going to have to worry about feeling safe, but it's not going to feel like three years ago yet. I'm hearing the response and the recovery in the regionals is breaking records. Yeah, so we're seeing, and I spoke to this uh, in our investor communications recently, kind of in the middle of February, system-wide, including Las Vegas, we saw an incredible pickup in demand. If you walked around here in November, December, our midweek occupancy was as low as the high 20s in the Caesar system. We're now running in the 70s on weekdays and some weekdays in the 80s and weekends are full. So Vegas has come back with leisure travel and the regional pickup has been extraordinary. There's a lot of pent up demand out there. Is it there. sustainable? Uh, it certainly is for you know, the near to medium term. You've got a lot of pent up demand, cabin fever. You've got a lot of people flush with cash and what we're seeing, whether it's through because of vaccination, because of improving numbers, or just because of COVID fatigue, they're starting to come out in numbers. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.